All right, Kevin, we got a laser on, on cost. Walk over here. We're going to demonstrate exactly how we use this laser in clinical practice. And this is the laser used on Donna. This is exactly right. If, if everyone doesn't mind, please put those goggles on so none of you go blind. People at home don't have to worry. And we're going to demonstrate exactly how this is done. I'll be the vacuum cleaner. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to do an example uh, with this avocado, if you will, where I'm going to treat the avocado and sort of compare it to the skin when I treat my patients. And okay. we're going to we're going to start here. You see this green color of the avocado, and we're going to compare that to the top layer of the skin. This is the first layer that I go through. And what's happening here is we're actually going through. We're taking off the top layer, and I think you can start to see the colors start to change here. So at this point, we're actually looking at a deeper layer of this avocado. And this is like the deeper layer of the skin, the middle layer of the skin that I go through. All right, so this is the surface of the skin. Now we're in the middle layer. And then you apply it once more. So what I do then is I go through the middle layer of the skin to get to the deep layer of the skin. And that's where I can create these results. Can you all see that? It's uh, getting deeper and deeper. Now what you're going to see here, it's just starting to peek out because we're having this sort of green color that's coming through. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Okay. Do you see that nice lime green color? Okay. That's like the deep layer of the skin. And when I'm treating festoons, that's the layer I go down to. That's the layer where I can create new elastic and collagen fibers, and that's the layer where the magic happens. And so if I understand this correctly, when you get to that layer, the tissue will begin to regener regenerate itself. And that causes the flattening out of these festoons. You can take your glasses off. Yeah, they basically will grow their skin all over again from the bottom up. So we have f actual footage from Donna's procedure that we're going to look at. Now, I'm going to warn you, it's a little bit graphic, but just to orient you, uh, and I didn't realize that you did this, uh, you actually will be looking at her eye with the uh, lower lid pulled down, and you make the incision in that little space there. Correct. And that's going to be the first thing we're going to see is me making an incision, taking out the lower lid uh, fat. Mm -hmm. And so as you watch this footage, uh, you'll, you'll see her eye retracted down. So here what I'm doing is I'm prepping the patient. I'm using a CO2 laser, and I'm actually making an incision with a laser. And now what I'm doing is I'm using the resurfacing laser, the cyton laser, to tighten the skin and to improve the festoon. And this is what it looks like when we're using the laser on the lower eyelid skin. Okay, now I'm going to remind everybody, this is what Donna's picture looked like beforehand. You all see that? Now, I'm pretty anxious to see her. Are you guys? Yeah. That's awesome. Donna, please join us. Come on out. <laughs> that looks, let me see this. I mean, that is spectacular. Thank you. Spectacular. Congratulations. Hi. How are you? It's great to see you. <laughs> Come out of seat. So it's been two weeks. Yes. Uh, I must. I'm flabbergasted. I, I don't. The festoons are gone. The, the bags are gone. Uh, it is re remarkable. When people see you, your friends, people who love you. How do they respond? They're just amazed. That they just. They can't believe the difference in how I look now. I don't look tired anymore. I don't mind looking in the mirror. Yeah. I just feel great. Isn't that crazy? You know, can I just say? One of the reasons I felt so passionately about, about doing this segment was because I think there, there are times when the way we look pulls us down, drags us down. We you just don't feel as proud as we should about ourselves just because we're reminded when we look in the mirror about things we don't want to see. And that is, in my opinion, a good reason to have plastic surgery. When it's really thought through uh, and when you really had your, your mind focused on something that's pulling you off track from the real vision of life you ought to be having. Okay, so, question number one, did it hurt? No. It didn't? No. All right, so he was right. Yeah, I was okay. awake through the whole procedure. You never tell when the surgeons tell you it doesn't hurt. You have to no, be careful. No, <laughs> right. I was awake through yeah. the whole Cost. So typically, um, if we're working on a festoon alone, uh, the cost is around $3,000 or so. If I'm doing additional procedures, it can be up from there. But typically for this expensive. procedure, it's about $3,000. And is it, is it permanent? Is it a one-time deal and you're done? Once we've gotten the skin healthier, um, this skin will stay healthier for as long as she keeps herself protected from the sun. So we see one more time, because if I get this procedure done, I want to make sure. <laughs> will I look like this? <laughs> it looks pretty good. I like that. Right. Donna, thank you very much. Dr. Shiner, congratulations. Wonderful work. Thank All you. Right.